Welcome back! I hope you're as excited as I am to get into some editing techniques, particularly clipping something out of the file. Because maybe, well, they said something that uh, you don't want in the episode, or perhaps they coughed, or perhaps there's a lull, you know, a long pause of some kind. So it's good to, you know, tighten things up a bit. And as you can see, this is a little different than the project we were working on earlier, which was more simplified. But obviously you can tell more tracks, more work to do, of course. And all of these are probably going to be what you're working with anyway. And they're all labeled accordingly. But yeah, so as you can see, automation is in full effect here, as it should be. But let's take a listen to what Andrew is saying during the excerpt here. Well, then maybe we can do something to actually make kids more reflective. Uh, and if we make kids more reflective, well, then maybe that will increase, like, you know, uh, how well they do in school. So as you can see here, there's already been a cut made. So how do you do a cut? Because there was originally a long pause between what he said here and here. But he also said, like you know, at one point here. And I think I want to take your marker and figure out where that is specifically first. Ha. Huh. You know. Sometimes you do have to play it back a few times to actually catch it. Uh, and here, we use our little zoom in function. We drag it over to... And as you can see, it's a little tricky. It does take some practice. We don't want automation on at this point because we're just doing a simple edit. And in this case, we want to take out, like you know, right in this general area here. Now, how do we do that? We highlight the track that we want to edit simply by clicking on the recording itself and then hit Command T because right here where your marker is, that's where it's going to do the cut. As you'll see when I hit Command T, there you go. Now, as you can see, we have the opportunity now to just basically drag it away. And we take the other part and sort of connect it to the file before it was uh, trimmed here. Let's take a listen and see if I did all right. That will increase how well they do in school. Okay, not too bad there. Um, you can see there's still a little bit of a gap. If you zoom in a little bit further, you can see that there's still kind of a gap here. I want to make it sound smoother. Uh, because you want your guests to sound smooth. <laughs> you know, it's we're all guilty of ums and you knows and likes. And that again, that's a subjective choice whether or not you want to edit them out. I think for the introduction, you definitely would. But at the same time, during the actual interview, you can go back and listen to the file extensively and decide specifically if you want to edit out every like and you know depending on whether or not it sounds like a seamless transition, which is what I'm trying to do here. Make it a little bit better. Mm, let's see. We'll increase how well they do in school. That's a little bit better. You can tell that the word increase isn't fully said, but at least the like and you know has been removed. So we're just trying to stretch out the increase a bit more in hopes that it'll sound how well they do in school. That's better. That's a little bit better. Let's listen to this entire passage again. And now you've got a good example of an effective editing technique simply by using Command T, which allows you to cut the file. Let's just take a listen. Maybe that will increase how well they do in school. There you go. So we took out the like and you know, and that's an example right there of taking something out of an individual audio track 
Stay tuned for more tips coming up. Thank you.